Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to overclock your GPU in the fastest and easiest way possible and I am going to try to make this as easy as I can to follow. If you are happy with the results at the end then please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with others that need to see it. Also share your results in the comments down below to help others that are afraid to overclock their GPU. Before I start with the tutorial, I am going to explain what is overclocking. If you already know, or if you are not interested in knowing, then you can just skip to 145 for the tutorial. Overclocking a GPU increases its performance by boosting the speed that the graphical processor works at. All GPUs are set to run at a certain speed, called the base clock, but most GPUs have the ability to surpass the speed set by the manufacturer. By overclocking the speed, your GPU will increase the temperature and draw more power and it's very important to find a good balance between the performance and the stable temperature for your graphics card. With this you'll not only get more FPS in games but also you'll increase your overall PC's performance as well. But don't worry, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use MSI Afterburner which is a safe to use software for GPU overclocking because even if you set the speed too high either the program will crash or your PC will restart and the speed of the GPU will be returned to a safe level. I know a lot of you have heard that overclocking is bad and it's risky, but if you follow this tutorial closely you don't have to worry about anything. It's simple, fast and extremely safe and it's free. And let's start. The first step is to download the MSI Afterburner and you can just click on the link in the description and this website should open up. Now scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on download where it says MSI Afterburner and wait for it to download. While the MSI Afterburner application is downloading, scroll up a little bit and find the Combustor Benchmarking application and you want to download that as well. So click on the download button. Now click on download again and now click on the MSI Combustor 4.1.1.0 version or just click on it if there's a newer version. Click on download and it should start downloading. The first application or the MSI Afterburner is the overclocking application and the second one or the MSI Combustor is a stress testing application that lets us know what is the highest speed that our GPU can have without it crashing. Now open the first one, so the MSI Afterburner.zip file and unzip it on your desktop. Once you unzip it, double click on it, click on yes, click on ok, next, accept the terms, next. You can uncheck this one because you don't really need that. And then click on next, next, install and wait for it to finish. Now once it's done installing, you can just click on finish and I'm gonna open it later. First what you want to do is install the second application which is the MSI Combustor. So just click on the downloaded file and click on run, click on yes, accept the agreement, next, 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 next and install and wait for it to finish. Click on next again and click on finish. Now what you want to do is open the MSI Afterburner application, click on yes. And once it's open, as you can see the core clock and the memory clock is found on the left side and the temperature is found on the right side. If you want to switch to Fahrenheit instead of Celsius then what you want to do is just click on the settings icon here, go to user interface and now check the Fahrenheit circle. Once you're done click on apply and click on OK. In the middle of the application you can see the core voltage option which we're not gonna change in this tutorial. The power limit option, which we're not gonna change as well. The temperature limit, core clock, memory clock and fan speed. Before we overclock the GPU, click on the settings icon again. And check the start with windows box and start minimized box. This will just apply the overclocking settings every time you turn on your PC. Once you're done, click on apply and click on ok. And now let's start with the overclocking. The first thing is to increase your fan speed. So it's this one right here. 
Your fans will become louder, but this will keep your GPU cool. If you can change this option, then just set it to the maximum, which is 100. If you're on laptop, then this option may not be possible as on my laptop, but don't worry. If you can change it, then that means that the fan speed is set on auto by your manufacturer, which is good because it will automatically detect the temperature and will increase or decrease the fan speed depending on the temp. Once you set your fan speed to maximum, if you change this option, click on the check mark. And now what you want to do is click on the K button at the top and this will open the MSI Combustor application. If it doesn't open it, then just go to your desktop and double click on it. Once it's open, click on run stress test and this should open up. Wait for it to load. This will stress test your PC and you want to be able to see it at all times. So just set it to the left side of your PC and set the MSI afterburner to the right side. Okay, once we start with the overclocking, you'll want to look for any graphical issues in the MSI Combustor application, like flickering, or maybe the application will just crash or your PC will restart. If any of these things happen, then don't worry, it's nothing serious, it just means that you found your maximum core clock. Let's start with increasing the core clock. You'll want to increase this by 40 and click on the check mark every time you increase it. Once you increase it, wait for 1 to 2 minutes and look at the MSI Combustor application to see if there are any graphical issues. So let's start. Just click on plus 0 and type 4, 0, so 40. Click on enter and click on the check mark. As you can see, I don't see any flickering or the application has not crashed. So it seems that we're okay now. So I'm gonna increase it by 40. So I'm gonna type 80, click on enter and click on the check mark. Let's see, wait a little bit while the settings are applied. There is no flickering, so I can increase it more. I'm gonna set it to 120, click on enter and click on apply. As you can see, there is no flickering as well, so I can increase it even more. I'm gonna set it to 160 and let's see how that goes. As you can see, there is a little flickering on the screen but it's nothing, I can increase it more. I'm gonna set it to 200 now, click on enter, click on apply, and as you can see, there is some flickering on the screen. I've tried these settings and 240 is the maximum four clock for me. At 240, my application crashed and my PC restarted. So because I'm recording this video, I'm not gonna set it to 240, but if your PC crashed or if the application restarted, then just don't worry, just open it up again. Once you find your maximum core clock, which is 240 for me, because as I said at 240 megahertz, my PC restarted. What you want to do is just lower that number by 40. So once you find your maximum core clock at which the application crashed, just lower it by 40. So for example, mine crashed at 240, so I'm gonna set it at 200. Click on enter and click on the check mark. And it's that easy, you've just found your maximum core clock. Once you're done with the core clock, let's move on to the memory clock option. We'll be doing the same thing as with the core clock, but now we'll increase this one by 100 and not 40. I found out that the application crashes at around 1000 MHz. So let's try it out. I'm gonna set it to 100 first. Click on enter, click on the check mark. As you can see the application is fine. I'm gonna increase it by 100 and set it to 200, click on enter, click on the check mark. And as I said, I've already tried this and the application crashed at 1000. So once you find your maximum memory clock, then what you want to do is just lower it by 100 and set it. So as I said, my application crashed at 1000 MHz, so I'm gonna lower it by 100, which is 900 MHz, and I'm gonna set it as it is, click on enter and click on the check mark. As you can see, everything's fine, there's a little flickering, but the application is still running. Now once you've overclocked the memory clock and the core clock, test them with the MSA Combustor for a couple of minutes, just to ensure that everything is fine. If you see any flickering or crashing, then just lower the core clock by removing minus 10 from it and minus 50 from the memory clock, until that is fixed. Now what you want to do is click on the save icon, click on the 1, and as you can see, it's at profile one saved. Now, every time you open up your PC, what you want to do is just click on this one. And 
as you can see profile 1 has been applied and now your GPU has been overclocked. If you want to set it as it was then what you want to do is click on the save icon, click on the number 2, set both of this to 0, click on the check mark, click on the save icon again and profile 2 has been saved. So profile 1 is the overclocked and profile 2 is the normal. That's it for this video, I hope that it helped you and that it was easy to understand. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped you and also share this video with others that need it. Thanks for watching again and bye.